Good morning from Rome. This is uh, June 29th, which is the feast of Saints Peter and Paul, which is really the biggest feast day in Rome because we celebrate the martyrdom of Peter and Paul. And they're both buried here in Rome. So uh, overnight on Via della Conciliazione, which is the street that leads to St. Peter's Basilica, uh, artists come out from different towns all over the country and they decorate the street with flower art or sand art or sawdust art that's all colored and they do these little mosaic looking things on the ground. So uh, that happened last night. They worked all night and then now they're all done, except for a few, but I'm gonna show them to you. So let's check them out. So you can see we're right down the street from St. Peter's Basilica. And often what happens is different towns will decorate with their hometown saint. So this is St. Anthony of Padua. And this one, for example, is like uh, little bits of, I don't know, chunky sand or something colored. next one is really pretty so they used colored sand but also flower petals leaves and roses oh, there's me hi This next one's a little weird and skippable. They just did kind of some chalk painting and laid them out. There's one funny thing though here. The Pope, very angry Pope. It's probably even more angry looking at that picture. Here we have an odd one. This one is all pieced together. If you look closely, you'll see that each of these things are little sections that they did before they came. And so by 11 p.m. last night, this one was already done because they just put it together like a puzzle. Still pretty. Getting pictures of their own work. And this one uses little gold pine cones. <laughs> and this was just simple colored sand, but very bright, vibrant. That would be St. Andrew holding the egg-shaped cross. And here's another one that's really pretty. Look at all the flowers they used. Check out those blues. And here we have St. Nicholas. Again, this one is colored sand or little stones. This next one though, is really nice. They used roses. It's beautiful. And there's a little break here. So um, this is a tradition that's been going on, I don't know how long in Rome, but they do it all over Italy, maybe some other parts of Europe too. Um, but often they will have these floral carpets on the street and then um, during a Eucharistic procession, 
especially on Corpus Christi, uh, they will process down the street and actually walk on the flowers. So it's like a true floral carpet. And um, they don't do that here though. They just lay them out overnight. And then in the morning, today, uh, after this papal mass that's about to take place, people come out and look at them and then the wind blows them away eventually. Uh, here's one that's not very pretty. St. Sebastian. You can see the arrows in his arm. Not the best, but probably better than I could do. And then over here, another one with little flower petals. They have the area kind of blocked off now because you can see there's a line there waiting to get into the, the papal mass. And then here, this truck, you can see they're out all night with all their different colors. And they're still working. So what they do is they put all this down and then they have a guy that comes by and sprays them all. You can see there's some water there. Sprays them all to keep them kind of wet and weighted down so that the things don't blow away until later in the day. And I'm gonna have to go around this crowd, I think. I don't know if I can get over there. I'll try. So there's a couple over here that are really pretty. One, they actually used uh, colored bird seed or something, so the pigeons are eating it, and the artists keep running over there and chasing them off. Yeah, I won't be able to get too close to these next ones. Anyway, that's it. Lovely tradition. It's beautiful. Something fun to experience in Rome. And uh, yeah. Happy feast day.